Hey guys, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. Today we are continuing my B6 notebook journey and I don't know, would you call it a journey? Maybe. Anyway, so I actually recently switched into this Jillio from my pink aubergine. This is the brown with the gold on the inside and it's such a lovely match to my superior labor okay so today I have another v6 of course this one is from Galen leather I will say this has never happened to me I got an email from FedEx well actually I got a phone call from them and I didn't answer because it was like a 800 number um, but I got the voicemail and in order for them to process everything, they needed me to verify the product. I thought it was kind of weird because some of these questions actually, in my opinion, belong to the manufacturer, like the supplier, whoever is actually sending the product, not necessarily the person who is receiving it. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Anyway. I say that because I wasn't sure about all the answers. They asked me if I could explain where, what type of leather it is. And then also to verify whether or not the ink in my pen is actually toxic. And honestly, like how would I, how would I know that without asking Galen Leather? So. I said that there shouldn't be ink in this pen because I didn't buy ink, I just bought the pen. And then on top of that, I ended up sending Galen Leather a comment on their Instagram asking them, is this um, bovine leather, you know, leather from an actual cow or what? Because I, I honestly wasn't sure. I assumed it was, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that happened. They got it settled. There was an email that started on Friday. They said they wanted to get all the answers before it was processed through their facility. And I was assuming it was going to be processed in New York somewhere sometime. And then it was too late because I'm three hours behind the East Coast since I live on the West Coast. And I didn't get a response back to Monday morning. But it's here now and it is Wednesday. So I'm glad that they reached out because they said that this could delay the processing if I didn't have the answers um, or, you know, if their answers, if they didn't get the answers. Yeah. So that is the story behind this. What I got was I have a coupon code and the evil eye card, but there's no evil eye. I'm not sure if this is something that they aren't sending right now maybe because they don't have enough of this in stock but I have received like two of these in a previous order from 2018 I think was the last time I ordered from them let's get started I ordered a fountain pen and then I ordered their b6 leather cover notebook and I'm not really sure what's in here so let's see a little pouch oh ooh. so I do remember them sending their Turkish coffee last time but they have this one which is I, I'm assuming it's tea it seems like it yeah it seems like it might be tea oh no 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 it's a towel <laughs> Okay, so they sent me a refreshing towel. Oh, here's the tea. Okay, I just remember last time I got the coffee and the tea. So I actually really want to try this. And then, ah, there is the evil eye. So maybe this was opened during customs. And they just did a terrible job of putting everything back is what I'm guessing. But this is usually attached to the card um, from last time. So, or from my knowledge of my last unboxing, which is obviously memorable since it was so long ago. 
Okay, so which one should I do first? Let's let's do the fountain pen. So I always love their packaging, and it's just like this old. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I just love like all the detail in their packaging. All right. So I ended up getting the Scrix. I could be saying this wrong. The Scrix 419 fountain pen, and this is in the blue color, which is called the indigo color. It seems like from what I read on Galen Leather's website. It is a Turkish manufacturer who makes these pens and they were established in like 1964. It comes with a medium nib and a transparent window which I'll show you in just a second and it is a piston filler. Let's see, okay. It's well, it's in there very well. Okay. So yeah, it wouldn't come with ink because it's a piston filler. It's very lightweight. I really like this box. Actually, it would be a nice box to just have hold like your little knickknacks. Um, I'll just put that right here. So this is the pen. It is very, very, very lightweight. I'm actually quite shocked that the size of this pen is not overwhelmingly large. Um, let's see. So we open it up. You do get the ink window, so you can see the ink window, and then the nib is a medium, and the nib is actually quite small. It reminds me of a uh, the size of a Caveco, like the, the tiny nib that the Caveco has, um, the Caveco Sport. But anyway, we're going to see how this guy performs. It does say it's plated with 23 karat gold on the nib, which is interesting. I can kind of tell right now that the feed looks um, uneven on the nib. So we'll see how it goes. So you can post it. And I was worried that it would be too long, but it's not. It seems like it's a pretty good size, especially for my hand. Let me show you some comparisons before I ink it up. The pen, we have the Twisby Eco. Then I have my Pelican M205, which is actually closer to the size. Yes, almost exactly. I'm not going to give you numbers because you can look that up yourself, but it is pretty identical to a Pelican 205. This is the 400, which is also pretty similar. And what else do I have in my, in my pouch? We have a Laban, which is huge. And then we have a Platinum 3776, like that. So you kind of have a size comparison. Also, let's pull out my Sailor Mini so you can see how much cuter it looks, Sailor. But anyway, we know that that's like a pocket pen. So that's how it all looks together. I'm going to pick some ink and we are going to take a look at this pen close up after we unbox the notebook. Okay, so we got this card, which is cute. Um, definitely something to put in my journal. And then this is the notebook. This is the B6 Crazy Horse Brown, which I like brown, so I knew I would be okay with this color but the color I was really hoping for which I don't think he actually has in stock yet or even thought about putting it in stock is the undyed. I like undyed as do many people that I know and um, it would have been awesome to have an undyed leather cover. 
Okay, so this is the front. I was showing you the back side. This is the front. Definitely, again, really nice packaging. And you see that gold foil on the front. Love that. It has a little pool. Oh, sweet. Okay. So it says Galen Leather brand of stationery, celebrated for quality and ingenuity. Sorry. <laughs> Um, okay. I was like, why did I say that word so weird? So this box is really cool. I really, really like that. I'm wondering, is it, I think it's, it's magnetic. I like that. Okay. So I think this is a, like a ruler. You can like a, a line paper that you could put under your pages as you're writing. So, oh, and you get more okay the gift keeps on giving so this must be a blotting sheet which feels like leather to me to be honest it's very flexible um, let me show you a, a blotting sheet that I'm more accustomed to which is this one this is a blotting sheet that you get from the NAMI cafe this is the a6 size but I like this one. This is interesting. It, it kind of makes you want to hold on to it. Um, as the other one is more like a sheet of paper. And then another grid sheet they include. So you can put under your pages and write. So I ended up getting the... Oh, ooh. Wow. Okay, so that wasn't there a second ago. I don't know if you could see it. This was not there a second ago. I actually creased it as I was opening the pages. So this is the cover of the book. It's made of this leather. And this leather actually is really nice. I did get like the green leather last the, two years ago when I ordered from them. And honestly, the I guess I was roughing it with that uh, cover because it got some type of donkiness on it and I could not get it off the leather. So anyway, this one feels a lot smoother, like very smooth, really nice. Um, it makes me right now not even want to put a leather cover over this at all because this would be beautiful as it patinas and gets all marked up but already I kind of made this mark it's kind of hard to see I made this mark just by opening it and these are blank pages and that's pretty much straightforward like 52 GSM I think and very well done on the spine here if I can get that to focus Okay, so one other thing I want to show you is that the back has all their info on it. It is 400 pages. It's blank, made in Turkey, and it has the 52 GSM white paper, and it has Galen Leather's um, name, logo on here, and it is all gold um, foiled. That's really nice. It's really, really nice, you guys. It feels substantial, still lightweight because it's turmoil over paper. The binding looks like it's not going anywhere and it's amazing how they were able to attach this to leather. It doesn't feel bulky at all. Okay, now it's time for notebook comparison. So let's get started. I first am gonna compare it to my very, f my current notebook which is the uh, B6 to Cougar and this one I think is the shortest B6 notebook that I have and the I guess the spine would be roughly the same I have been using this notebook so it is pretty chunky and still getting chunky this notebook does not have a band 
like some of the other ones I've already reviewed and it does not have a bookmark so keep that in mind it does have curved corners so my curved corner notebook next to look at is a Stalogy. This is identical to a Stalogy. And price-wise, it's not too far away from a Stalogy either. So this is exactly the same height and width of a Stalogy. Next is the Life Notebook. This one is different in that it doesn't have the straight edge corners like the life notebook does so other than that they are the same height and width and then the non bull which is the latest review I've done and this one it seems like so far it is the biggest of the B6 and I think that's only because of the actual cover. The pages are inset. I don't know if that's the right word, but they're kind of, the cover of the notebook is actually a little bit further out than the pages to protect them. And it looks like if the cover was actually flush with the pages, that it would probably be the exact same size as Galen Leather and the Life Book and the Stalogy. So keep that in mind. Um, again, this one does have a bookmark and it does have the elastic on it, but it is slightly taller. And I think that's just because of the cover. So again, with the Galen Leather, the cover is flush as it is with the Life Notebook and Stalogy. Now the Tukukur, the pages are slightly inset, so um, the outside is a little bit wider and taller than the pages. Now the last one that I'm going to compare it to is called Wonderland, well it's a B6 to Moy River notebook but I got it from wonderland222.com. Like, it was suggested by um, someone who watched my very first video on the Life Notebook and then suggested again when I did the non bowl review. And so I did get it in. I didn't do an unboxing because I was too excited and didn't have time to film. But I thought, oh, I'll wait till the other one gets here and then I can talk about them both. So, this one is, it does have two options of like the cover. Um, I got the Midnight Blue, which looks black. It's just really, really, really dark. It is matte covering and it feels like, it. I don't know, it has a really nice grippy feel to it. Um, and it reminds me, it really reminds me of the scale and leather because you can tell that they glued something on the outside to make this cover. It's not just made of paper. And the cool thing about this one is that you have an index. They have like these pages already pre-planned for you. A key and then all the pages are grid and they have this like section at the top for the date and then they have numbers so like if you do have a schedule that is starts at five o'clock in the morning and ends at midnight then this is a great book for you also the pages are numbered at the bottom so this book comes with a lot um, already made for you so it's more like something as a planner in my opinion obviously you don't have to use it as a planner I'm not going to be using it as a planner it's going to be a journal but it does have those extra features which is similar to a Stalogy um, Galen Leather is just all blank pages let me show you what it would look like 
this. I'm kind of glad I have this because it kind of helps help you keep your lines straight, your letters straight. So yeah, you can see that really well. Maybe it would be good to laminate it so it can have a little bit more of a harder surface and it could be used kind of as a writing board. And here, same thing, but this one already has lines so it might already interfere with what you're doing, what you're seeing on the page. Let's see. This one has grid. Oh, this one is has yellow pages. The Tomoe River Galen Leather Notebook is white, so you can kind of see a large difference there. And then let's look at the Wonderland. This one's white, which is actually really nice. I prefer white paper, but I'm okay with um, cream or like off-white paper too. But my first is white paper. So yeah, this is white. And this one's yellow. Let's look at life. Life is orange. <laughs> That's orange. Um, white. White. Orangey. Off-white. White. White. And of course, Takuker is like an off-white. It's very similar to the Nonbull. So yeah. Okay. Got a lot going on here. Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, so far, oh, did I talk about this? Okay, so Wonderland is actually quite short. It's probably by a quarter inch in my opinion and it's slightly thinner so definitely something that is uh, more portable I guess you could say than some of the other B6's that I have so here's a comparison against the non bull slightly shorter and skinnier than life I like how bright this one is because you could really see the size difference and Stalogy. And then the other one. So I got quite a collection going on here. And um, I actually have, believe it or not, one more coming. It's. Should I tell you where it's from? Well, I have one more coming, and it's a Hippo Noto. When it's gonna get here, I don't know. Don't know. And, um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, let's get into the pen. I decided to go with Van Diemen's The Wilderness series, and this is in the color Azure. This comes with the cutest little bottle. It's so tiny. It's not, okay, it's not super tiny, but it's pretty small. And it has this pretty blue with green shimmer in it. So because this nib is a medium, hopefully we can see some of that shimmer. I will say that I was very nervous when I was twisting the piston. It was pretty smooth. But I was nervous that it wasn't picking up the ink and that I had received like a dud. <laughs> but it picked it up um, after a couple tries. And so here we are. I really like this ink window. I don't have too many pens that are piston fillers with an ink window. So this one is really nice. The price is very reasonable. But let's see how it writes.
Okay, so definitely not scratchy. Even though the nib or the feed looked like it was a bit crooked, um, it's writing really nice. I don't seem to have... Okay, there it is. It's kind of, I don't know, when I first put the pen nib to paper, it seems like the line is very thin. Yeah, I think I might need to adjust the nib slightly. And I feel like it does write a lot better with some pressure. So, I don't know, I think I have to work a little bit with this pen, whoops, just to get it to my liking. Maybe even get it tuned by a professional or something like that. But other than that, um, I really like the aesthetic. I do like how lightweight it is and the way it looks. I mean, it's just really, it looks really nice. And the size is not overwhelming. Um, but again, I'll just have to kind of play with the nib, look at it under my loop and see where I can make it write a little bit more to my liking. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't write on that book. Um, since this is the one I'm using and we all kind of know how Tomoe River paper is with fountain pen and fountain pen ink, I felt as though there was no need for me to write in the back of another empty notebook until I'm ready to use it. So I hope you don't mind my test on 52 GSM that is like the cream color with the dots and yeah so I will catch you guys in the next video hopefully my next B6 will be here soon ish and I can show you how that looks and then I can do like a comparison with the sizes and how they fit in different covers so anyway I will catch you guys in the next video bye, bye.